Hi, I'm Don Mitchell, and uh, I've had some requests to explain how I did the retrofit on my Aria Cincinnato, which is the licensed copy of the uh, Soloette uh, uh, travel guitar. And uh, so I thought I'd just take a few minutes and see if I can explain it. Um, let's see, I'll give you a view here. I don't have any of the bars attached right now. This is just the guitar without the bars attached that help uh, create the, the uh, shape of the guitar for your arm and what not to rest on. Um, of course, I play with a strap, which I installed a long time ago. Now, I'll get close here and see if I can show you exactly what's, what, what's going on. Um, originally, the way this is designed, uh, the way it was designed by the, the Soloette company, you can see here um, right now, this uh, saddle arrangement, there's actually a hollow tube, and there used to be two tiny little uh, microphones at each end of this tube. And then this wooden saddle that the tube sits in. Um, had a ch has a channel routed um, right underneath where the tube sits and the wires for the microphones would come up from there's a chamber here um, you can see the, the case uh, the, the guts of the thing used to be in there and then this used to have two these holes here um, let's see these were a, a volume and tone control that fed into there and then the, the jack was here and right now what this is is the and I had to I didn't have room enough because the uh, the preamp is actually soldered right onto the end of this jack and I had to fit the preamp inside that chamber so that meant I had to sneak this jack out farther um, because the preamp was running into the the end of the of that little router out chamber. There is this is a very simple under the saddle transducer that I put here. Um, it's a coaxial cable type. So basically, what you have is the little preamp board is soldered right onto the end of the jack, and then out from that comes the wire and the coaxial cable. So what I did is when I I popped the uh, the uh, the little microphones off of the end of the tube, each end of the tube, and cut that loose. Took all the guts out, put this in, and what I discovered is that that little that little router groove in the in the in this wooden saddle, the coaxial cable fit perfectly into that groove, and then I reused the tube. Uh, uh, and just set it right back in place and so basically um, it was <laughs> very very easy to do um, when I first conceived of this I thought I was gonna have to replace this entire saddle and build something and put a conventional saddle onto it uh, so this was a, a quite a discovery now you can see let's see if I can get this in the right spot you can see how that coaxial cable just if I can get the right position here um, fits right underneath that 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 tube that's a little dark uh, if I can get the right position so that you can see it hmm show you the other end you can see here the uh, on this end you can actually see the little end of the coaxial cable sort of sticking out the other end so it was very simple um, I bought this transducer it was the cheapest one I could find it was just it didn't even have a brand name on it uh, it was an online some online company from China I basically just did a search in Google put under the saddle transducers and this was one of them that came up 
and it was barely over twenty dollars for the transducer itself and uh, so it was a very simple retrofit uh, hopefully that explains it I wish you could see it a little better but uh, uh, that's all I did pop those microphones out run the transducer in there um, it's kind of funky in the sense that this wire is sticking out I was hoping that I could router that wire a different way but when I was talking with a friend of mine who's a, a luthier and has installed used to install a lot of these uh, coaxial cable type he says now you don't really want to put that tight a bend on that you know it, it, it could mess it up so um, nevertheless it works looks a little funky but it's much better sounding than those original little microphones in that hollow tube I just thought those sounded horrible to tell you the truth and uh, the other benefit is that as well as uh, being a travel guitar and that I can use for practice and I and of course this is wonderful thing about this is it'll fit into an overhead just about any airplane overhead so you can take it with you uh, when you're on vacation fly with it but you could also now that I have this I can actually if I wanted to take it out on a gig the amazing thing is it's almost completely impervious to feedback amazing impervious to the feedback and I think from some of the reading that I've done I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that that coaxial cable is actually sitting in that groove and is sort of wedged in there and so there's uh, because from what I've read that actually helps the, the whole feedback situation when there when it's just sitting underneath the saddle and there's and it's not wedged in tight into a groove like that that's when it can actually get feedback for some reason I'm not I don't fully understand why but that's what I've read so uh, uh, hopefully that explains uh, the retrofit you if you have any further questions feel free to uh, post them uh, in the comments section of this video and, and, and I'll try to get back to you on that so thanks for watching